Hey, what's up, YouTube? Digital Soul here. Psh, what's up, Ben? Great freaking video, man. I totally agree with you. Um, and any of my viewers that are watching this now, I would either ask you to either comment on Ben's video or I would ask you to make a response to Ben's video because this is a serious issue. Um, they do need to fix the site before they try to step into another, you know, medium. Um, the Fizz is already getting it done on TV, and as the Boring Dispatcher said, you know, it's still a little wishy-washy, you know, but the show's still new, so give it a chance. You know, I myself am a part of it, and so is Ben. You saw him in the last episode if you watched it. Also, I would like to say is I think YouTube and Google are trying to step into this because they want to step in on the ground floor before everybody's doing it because it's just like reality TV. It started out with one show, then five shows, and then five turned into ten, ten turned into twenty, twenty turned into forty. You know what I'm saying? It just keeps jumping up and jumping up and jumping up. So they want to become a part of it now because they feel that they are the biggest on the internet right now. Now there is another site called Live Video that's nowhere near as big as YouTube and um, it just looks like a mirrored site with a few more odds and ends going on, you know what I'm saying? And uh, YouTube is home to me. It's where I've been. You've been here almost a year and I've been here almost four months and you know I just I've never had a big problem, you know, nothing really bothers me to the point where I'm like, oh, I'm quitting, you know, because it's just not that bad, because I just overlook a lot of things, I always turn the other cheek, but I think, as I've said, that YouTube and Google want to become a part of the television industry with their vloggers, so they can get in there and get it done before someone else jumps in there and makes it happen. They need to fix their site. They need to get it up and running properly because I would understand if there was new problems, which they do trickle in from time to time, but a lot of the old ones still remain. And until I see some of those issues being addressed, that maybe I'll be a little happier and I would back off of talking about these things in my video. Also, one has to think is if they are putting our videos on television, getting our faces seen, is there anything in it for us? Not that I'm one of the people that say, gimme, 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 gimme. But if they're going to be promoting their site with their talent, what's in it for us? They already was talk about them charging us to upload videos or to have some kind of account, which never happened, but they just questioned about it, like, what if you had to? Now, what if they put us on TV? You know, we are the ones that get them the hits. I mean, they produce the service, but we produce the videos. So will anything happen to us? Will we get reimbursed? Will there be some kind of gratuity? So you got to think about that. Like, you got the videos for the Verizon. Is there any kind of gratuity for that happening? You know? I'm not saying that it's not going to happen, but... They need to let us know. So that's basically all I have to say. I mean, you covered a lot of it. I covered some different points. Boring Dispatcher mentioned the Fizz, who's already doing something like this. It's just that, um, yeah, maybe if we do all stand together united, we'll get some answers. Maybe, right? But this is Digital Soul. Thanks for watching. Get involved. And I'll see you guys when I see you. All right? Peace.